The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 3rd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, D.B. Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, that's right, is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. And more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead. Let those fingers do the walking. That's right. Send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question, that would be very helpful. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. A bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow off 125, the S&P down 6. We'll go figure out what that means, where things are trading into. The NDX 100 up 14. The Russell's up 22. Semis are up 16. Tranny's off 323. New York Stock Exchange down 7. Gold is trading down 27 bucks at 1762. Silver's off 30 pennies at 2320. Lights recruit trading out at 8127. Natural gas up 15 cents, about a 3% move to the upside. And uh, lead the charge dollar wise to the upside. You've got iRhythm Technologies, 34 bucks, 44%. Verative Corp up 28 or 25 percent. Mercado Libre getting in on the uh, gang, 19 dollars. That's only one and a quarter percent to the upside. Scott's Miracle Grow up 12 percent, 18 bucks. Arista Networks up 18 as well. Avis is back 62 dollars at 70 percent, having a big day yesterday. As you know, Charles River Labs up 46 bucks or 10 percent. Paycom down 7 percent, 38. Generic Holdings off, uh, Generac is off 39, that's 8%. Booking Holdings down 33. So there's some shakers out there, but of course I want to take a look at what you want to take a look at. Now, no request in as we speak just yet, so uh, well, there's one that did pop in here. Let's just go take a look at the general markets, and then Lee will come back and take a look at that ICD trade uh, for you. So let's begin by, uh, well, where are we? Here's where we are in a moment. So if we take a look at if we didn't know that the Fed was going to release their minutes or have some type of statement today, so the real fireworks really don't get going, if there are fireworks, uh, I would say between 2 and 3.30 today. Mm, please look all charts. What? So as we take a look at um, as we take a look at this panel right here, what we've got is consolidation breakouts across the board. That's in the NQ, which gives us a price target of 69.28, the ES, a price target of 48.23 or so, the YM, 37,360, and now the Russell 2000, by if it closes above 23.57.50, yes, there was a slight close above it, then it's free and clear to go do its consolidation measured move. That would take us to 25.78. Now, here's the key. I have no idea how the market will react to uh, uh, Powell's uh, statements and so forth. Uh, as Ruby in the Den was uh, putting forth, she said that basically this is so well telegraphed that, uh, you know, they're likely going to go ahead and do their small little taper out here and who knows what. But what we don't know is really how the market is going to respond. So when markets do break out of consolidation patterns, much like we talked about yesterday, much like the Dow in the lower left, the ES in the upper right, once we had that breakout, price came back and tested and rejected the top of that consolidation. So we haven't seen that. 
for the uh, NQ. You know, yesterday you could almost argue that it was a, a test and rejection of that level, level. Level. So it's only the NQ that has it. Does it have to get back there and test it? No. But what I want to do is you should put these consolidation patterns on your screen, not just my screen. Watch the price reaction. If there is a price pull back there and price tests and rejects those levels, that is your entry point into a long position in addition to perhaps long positions that you have out there. If price gets back inside these consolidations, then what we have is a false breakout. There's no way to call this a false breakout right now. Anybody that would do that would be, well, then you can see the future. And that would be cool if you can. I can't see the future, but what I can see is what are the current patterns and what do they mean and what to, in essence, take a look at. So that's the first thing. So this is the markets. We are in the favorable seasonal cycle. Uh, we could see the market respond to Paul's news and continue to zoom up higher. And if they do that, you now know what the price targets are. And those are the equal to price targets. When you break a consolidation, it is equal to or greater than the pattern. If we go take a look at the uh, daily future contracts and go into my white background charts, let's just do that right now just to get a feel. So you've got a couple different levels that we'll take a look at as to where price could pull back to. If we look at these four charts here, those levels would be the oscillator and change line. So in the case of the ES Mini, that's at 45.76 or thereabouts. That will not be the exact price if price moves lower, but you can use that as a guideline. Inside the NQ, it's 15.679. Inside the Dow, it's 35.645. I would not be surprised to at least see some kind of knee-jerk reaction that takes price back to those levels. What I don't know is whether price will hold those areas, but if price does hold those areas, a test and rejection of those areas, I know I've said areas just a few times, uh, but uh, it is what it is. Is a test and rejection of those will change it to levels out there. That would be your buy the dip point. What happens if price closes below those areas? Well, then that probably takes into play the tops of the consolidations that we just looked at earlier. Let's not stop here again. We're trying to look for clues as to how the market might respond or react. And the only way to really do that probably is to take a look at the short term time frame. So now we switch over to those 30 minute charts. If you take a look at the bottom left, oops, the bottom, oh, that's how I got that. Interesting. Let me try to get rid of that. There we go. The bottom left right now, the Dow Equity Future contract is testing its TD9 count breakout level, which is 35,813. Its TD9 threshold area is at 35,799. And so far in this bar here, we've gotten down to 35,793. So a key level of support is held. If 35,799 holds, then we could see or should see some type of a, a bounce. Perhaps that bounce takes us to the oscillator on change line. If we get a close below that level, then the next area, the nice downside price target would be 35,700. The reason that we shifted over to the Dow, the lower left chart out there, is because it's the only one that uh, it's the one that had the best bottoming signal. What I mean by that, it's got a TD9 count pattern that formed right at TD9 breakout support, that 35813 level. The ES Mini, that's the upper left, it also has a TD9 bottom. That TD9 bottom took price right up to resistance. That is the oscillator and change line. So we can see how that green OUL has acted as resistance. So if you see price close above that, that's going to tell you, and right now that's price at 4619, that's going to signal move to 4623. And above 4623, then we're likely wrapping rallying further into the end of the day. If we look at the NQ, what does the NQ have out here? It's got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal, but price is consolidating with inside its daily profile. And right now, the Russell 2000, it's got a confirmed Rhodes Momentum Indicator top, but price hasn't broken support, and that first level is that oscillator and change line. And that's currently priced at about 2380. A close below that should bring 2367 into its view. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's get to uh, the first question coming in. This one from uh, Lee. Lee writes in, uh, this is a follow-up from Monday's call about ICD. That's independent contract drilling out there. Looks like we closed yesterday with a hammer on the uh, daily time frame. And um, I ended up buying right near the close. Can you give me your thoughts on where we go from here? I'd like to hold this for a longer term. Great call on Monday. I'm waiting. You definitely got a better entry. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, independent. So what you've got out here, so it's possible that that was a hammer candle. I can't, that, that wick is a little bit um, larger than you'd like to see, Lee, but that doesn't really matter because whether that's a hammer candle or not, you've got a bullish engulfing candle that is certainly confirming the A to B equals CD to the downside. So it was a one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD. That is a Gartley pattern. So Gartley patterns have five different potential outcomes. Let's take a look at those outcomes. Those first four outcomes are retracements in essence. So we're going to just simply go from a retracement from the high to the low of this pattern. Give me just a moment here. I know I've got this set at an expansion, so give me a second to set that at retracement levels. And so we're going to go from the high to the low. Let me give, articulate those specific dates. The high out here is from October 18th. The low is from yesterday, and that's out on November 2nd. So that's at $3.66. So first things first. One, Lee, you can see that there's uh, it's trading with inside its daily profile. It's bullish in structure. So it's first next it's first its next level of resistance on the way up is certainly going to be that center profile level, and that's at 424. Above that, uh, resistance is at 438. Remember, I said there's five different potential outcomes. Well, the first four outcomes are retracement levels: the 0 .382, 438, 0 .618, 483, 786, 515. And back where we started, the 100% move of move would get us back into 555 level. So those become your price targets. There's a skirmish, as we talked about, the center of its profile at 424. What we do know is that if price is able to close above uh, 424, 
two consecutive closes, that is, Lee, then that's going to suggest that we should see price make its way up to the top of the profile. But you've got other skirmishes that will take place. Some people will ride the uh, the elevator up, and they'll get off at the first floor. That's 0.382. Others will get off at the second floor, 0.618. Some will get off at the third floor, and some will get off at that 100% move of a move. However, if you are moving into that swing point, that's a very large swing point. That's a trading day of October the 18th. That goes anywhere from a low of 462 to a high of 555. Your preference is price moves up into that area, and that's really at that 462 level, is you'd like to see volume of one more than 1.1 million shares out there. If you see that, that's a suggestion that price will make its way back to that fourth outcome, that 100% move of a move. The fifth outcome is that yesterday's low became a C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. We'll paint that in here right now. We're not saying this is what is going to occur. We don't know here. We've got to watch this and track this as price continues to move higher. Should it move higher? But that one-to-one -one level would take it to a devilish number. We'll just call it 667, so we don't have to say the actual number that printed up on that screen there. So those are your five different potential outcomes. Uh, congrats on the uh, trade out here. It uh, it does look uh, good at this uh, stage. So thanks for being patient and waiting, and then uh, calling back. So again, it, it it does. And also, I believe uh, yesterday was a TD9 count. Uh, it was bar number eight of a TD9 count. So today should become bar number nine out here. So you've got really two bottom signals for independence contract drilling. So, uh, Lee, uh, again, best of luck to you on this uh, trade. And just have your stop below, uh, I would say, below yesterday's low. If you can, that would be kind of a, a good ideal spot to put it. So thanks again for writing in. We had a request inside the Tigers then that came in after Lee's question. That was from John. And John wanted to take a look at all of the time frame charts for Charles River Labs out here. So uh, let's do this. Let's stay on the black background charts for a moment. Let's put up CRL. That's the uh, ticker symbol. And, uh, boy, gigantic move to the downside today. And uh, trading below the uh, – so there was a brand-new weekly profile that formed this week, and it's taken it out already, at least so far. And that low – that bottom of that box is 403.32. We're trading at 384. So the question might be where are we headed from here? Well, since we don't have any profile levels <clears> – <throat> Uh, since we don't have any profile levels, we're just simply going to have to go to our, our eight-paneled set of charts out here, which is really what John was asking for, so we're going to give him what he was asking for. So let's just change screens. Give me a moment here. We'll get over to this eight-panel view. This eight-panel view is giving us a monthly in the upper left, a uh, weekly followed by the daily, followed by 195. Again, we use 195-minute charts because there are 295-minute bars during the day. We like equally timed bars to be able to make our pattern decisions about what the markets are communicating to us. So let's begin with the monthly time frame. We can see that price here. First, there's a TD9 count top that is in place, and price has pushed its way right back to support, and that is the monthly oscillator and change line. That's at 387.39. We're slightly below that, but basically price has made its way back to support. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here, what we have yeah, be, with trading below the bottom of that weekly profile, this suggests that price will target 337.13. So a close below this oscillator and change line, John, on the monthly time frame, that then brings into play the 337 level. The daily has cut through a couple of TD9 breakout, uh, uh, breakout areas. Let's see if there's a third one on this chart out here. Um, there's not. And why is that? That's probably because I only have it set to two. But let me see here. Give me a moment. Well, that didn't work, but uh, screw that. Let me just do this here. Give me a second just to see what I've got the parameters set as. No, I've got it as three. So uh, one, two. Oh, there are three. Let me just change this to four. Let's get the fourth one out here. And uh, give me a moment. One, two, three. So I don't have a next level. John, so this just takes me really back to the uh, weekly time frame uh, for where price might be uh, targeting. And that's at 337.13. Uh, as I look at the intraday time frame charts, other than a 15-minute and the 65-minute charts. So both those do have TD9 count bottoms out there, but with that big gap to the downside, you know, that would be kind of risky for me to say that that's a solid type of a uh, bottom out here. Um, that's all I see when I take a look at Charles River Labs. So I think you got to wait. I'm inclined to believe after looking at these charts that price is likely going to go target that 337.13 area. So I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. There was a question inside the Tiger's Den to take a look at ticker symbol K, K 
KP, KRBP, KRBP. Let me let me type this in here and see how quickly this will uh, populate. <clears throat> so, so for years. So, John, you're saying that Charles River Labs is, uh, if we went back and uh, took a look at tops inside the equity markets, we'd see failures inside that. Is that, or you're just talking about Charles CRL, the actual entity itself? out here. So I don't know what the answer is there, but but I am curious about that. Back to KRBP and KRBP, let me put this on my black background chart just to, to see what this is. It's a uh, trading at two dollars and ninety seven cents, three dollars and six cents I should say. And that is uh Chiromic Biopharma. So let's look at these charts out here. Let's begin by taking a look at the daily. The daily has a nice roads momentum indicator bottom out there. That formed back here. That is panel number three from the left. That was this bull sash candle that confirmed that signal. Price is above the top of its daily profile. So what this is suggesting to us, Dan, is that price should go target 359. I think you called it a lottery ticket or not, but boy, based on the bottoming patterns out here, based on the profile levels on a daily basis, really does look like that's what it wants to go hit. Now, before it can do that, there's a weak weekly profile that just formed. This has a, um, a resistance level. It looks like that's at about the two, hold on a minute here, 317, 317. It's trade at 306. My charts are showing 297 on the white background charts, but that, that level of 317. And Dan, we'll show you that as soon as we get back from this break. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking like a ticker symbol uh, KRB, as in boy P, care. Keromic Biopharma. So what I was trying to share with uh, Dan inside the uh, Tiger's Den is uh, that their next resistance level is at 317. That is the top of weekly profile. Both the bottom and the center are at the same level. That's at 204. So that's your strong support area out here. So you had a nice wide-ranging, well, you had a nice volume day yesterday. It was not a wide-ranging bar. But if price can clear that, then we just simply go back to that daily time frame chart. And that daily time frame chart would then seg suggest to you and I that price would go target its TD9 breakdown level. And that, that's at 359. Anything above that would bring 452 in uh, place out there. So you've got that resistance that it's running into. If it can clear that, you know that this thing is on its way to higher price. So I hope that helps you out. And best of luck with that the lottery ticket. Doesn't look good. It looks to me like you have the edge on that lottery ticket. <laughs> that's not a lottery ticket. That was simply a, a good buy and a nice bottom out there inside of that instrument. Let's go to our next question. Our next question coming in from Hector and Patty. They are our fuel injectors out here, and they want to take a look at AMT, American Tower, I believe, yeah. And American Tower right now trading out at 278.28. So Hector, and Hector uh, writes in just uh, some of the best messages out here. I don't usually read them all. <clears throat> Sometimes they're a little bit more personal than others, but they're actually, but I love reading them. So, Hector, I just wanted to make sure I shared that with you. So, please keep that up. But he writes in, hey, happy, wacky, wild Wednesday. Well, that is likely, uh, uh, likely the way that it's going to turn out. So, AMT was floundering this morning on light volume. Boy, it doesn't look like it's floundering right now, but you know you don't like uh, loading up the wagons. However, we like to live on the edge, okay? <clears throat> so, you load it up on this wagon. Can, uh, can you give me your thoughts on resistance and support? So, absolutely. So, Hector and Patty... <clears throat> we, what we don't, what we do know about uh, American Towers, it completed a Gartley cell pattern, and it did it. You can see the A to B equals C D. So we must have talked about this. Uh, I would, I would hope that we did, and that was confirmed on October 27th. So that says that price should go test support. So I'm gonna get rid of the A to B equals C D pattern here. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of different levels of support. The profile level of support, or the more ideal buy, would be at 273.47 than perhaps today's buy. On a weekly basis, what you're looking at, and so I can understand the buy then, is a 277.08. So price, that's the bottom of its uh, weekly profile out there. So I see the support on the weekly. The daily has me a bit concerned because of that uh, Gartley sell pattern. Remember, Gartley buy, Gartley sells, they each have the same five different outcomes out here. In this case here, we'd be looking at retracements. And that retracement, the first one out here, let's see, well, it would actually help when you do a retracement, to truly grab the bottom of the swing point and the top of the swing point. Okay, so Stevie's done that. So you've made that dead cat bounce area, that 0 .382 retracement. So that says that a close below 279 would lead to a move to that 0 .618 retracement level of 271. We know that the uh, bottom of its profile is at 273.47. So at this stage here, uh, that's likely where price is targeted. But look, you've got that weekly profile level, so we're not going to discount that. But do watch at 277.08. Let's look at our white back chart see if there's any other information here to help out Hector and Patty and voila there is that voila is that it's oscillator on change line changed colors just a couple of days ago and um, so price is testing that level that level by the way is 279.03 so Hector I would like this trade a whole lot better if price closes above 279.03 today if it doesn't then the actual buy point could be that bottom of the profile but now Stevie would say hey you know the better buy here the better buy is at 265.07, where it broke out from. So you want to watch the bottom, or you want to watch that oscillator and change line. And then, if it closes below that, obviously you still have the support of the weekly time frame. But let's just check the weekly chart out here. Any kind of signals on it. So as I take a look at the weekly chart, not really. Um, the thing on the weekly chart is that what it did as it moved lower and it got back below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile, um, that's in essence where the counter trend rally ran into, or stopped, I should say. And we can also see that price is below that oscillator and change line. So that becomes a little bit risky and says price should head lower, but you know you've got support right at that 277. So what I'm going to ask you to do, uh, because you loaded up the truck, is to is to keep a relatively tight stop or make that stop certainly an end of day type of stop if you see price closing below those key levels of support out there it's dangerous the monthly chart has a road momentum indicator top 
And price right now is below its oscillator and change line. So all these messages for AMT is a suggestion that it wants to head to lower price. Now, what could what could say that's not the case? Well, we'd go look at the short term time frame charts, right? As price gets back to a potential bottom area, so we looked at the weekly profile, we looked at the oscillator and change line, we like to see a bottoming pattern. We like to see bottoming patterns occur on some of or all of the intraday time frame charts. Do we have that on the 30 minute chart? And the answer is we do not. So I don't see a, po a bottoming pattern there. Doesn't mean it didn't bottom, it just doesn't have one of the bottoming patterns that we look at during this show here on an hourly, uh, during the one at the two o'clock hour. Same situation on the 65 minute chart. On the 130 minute chart out here, what do we have? Same situation, I got a TD9 count top. Well, I do have a TD9 count bottom, so this is helpful to you. On the 130 minute basis, if we were to see a close below 276.41, and that level is held so far. But, Hector, if you did see that, that's going to suggest lower price. That would suggest at least 269 out there. So what we don't see, what we don't see out here is a lot of uh, intraday signals that there's a bottom in this. And that's typically one of the signatures that you would see. You know, you look at the daily chart or the weekly chart, you look for levels of support or resistance, and then you go back in those intraday charts to see if there's some kind of signals there that show us a turn. So since there isn't, what you've got at your back is going to be the bottom of that weekly profile and the daily oscillator and change line. So I hope that helps you out, Hector, and uh, I'm pulling for you, and best of luck to you with that trade. Uh, let's see here. I believe there's a couple of other emails that have come in. Yeah, there's one here from Eddie. Eddie writes in, can you look at OMGA? We can. Let me uh, get the white background charts off the screen. Let's get that ticker symbol flying out here. Actually, let me get it started on the white background. OMGA. Oh, my God, Apple. OMGA. And uh, Eddie continues to write in, I'm long, but it's pulling back today on no news. Can you repeat the key numbers on the major indices at the end of the show? I'll do what I can. Uh, so OMGA, I'm not getting that on my screen. Maybe oh, I didn't type it in right. Well, that's a Stevie fat finger type, OMGA. Let's see if we can get that in here. There we go. So that's Omega Therapeutics. So, Eddie, price has formed a brand new daily profile. So your level of support is 2470. Your level of resistance is 3045. I took a sip of water, an ice cube snuck in there. And so um, let me chew that, get rid of that ice cube here. Because it probably doesn't sound that good on your end. So the only levels of support or resistance that we have from a profile standpoint, Eddie, are going to be 2470 and 3045. Volume today, as this is pulling back, volume today is 100,000 shares so far, moving into about 198,000 shares. So, you know, it's kind of a coin toss there. Let's take a look at OMGA, Omega Therapeutics, on Stevie's white background charts. And here, again, not a ton of data. But what we do have is price below the oscillator and change line. That does suggest price, you should anticipate price pulling back to 2470. And if price closes below 2470, Eddie, you should target $19, even Steven, as the level that it heads back to. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Pedro Heights Investment Newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's get to our next uh, next request out here. This one coming in from Rich. Rich writes in, could you please take a look at UPST? That's what's up on our screen here. Upstart Holdings. And uh, is this looking like a major top or just another pullback on this rocket ride upwards? Looks to me like uh, the high volume low at 310 is a, a key level out here. Well, I'll tell you a key level right now to be looking at, Rich, is the bottom of its daily profile. And that's 316.04. This current profile formed with inside the prior profile. So this is a signal of a consolidating market. So you ask, is this a major top? Right now, based upon the profile that formed out here, I'd say the answer is no. This is more of a consolidation that is taking place. But you got to watch 316.04 because if price were to close below that, that would signal move back to the 267, 283 area. That is the bottom of its weekly uh, bullish structured profile. Let's pull over the upstart. Uh, white background charts and see what other information we can provide to Rich. Well, one of those pieces of information is where price broke out. This has a uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Where price broke out was at 304. If price did close below 304, once you break a breakout level, you typically go to the next breakout area, and that's at 215.32. We do not have that message yet, but that is the area for you to be watching 304. The weekly time frame chart, what message does this provide us with? Um, not much. Price just pulling back and testing support, the oscillator and change zone. I'm not going to get anything when I take a look at the monthly chart, so no reason for me to waste anybody's time. Your specific question, is this looking like a major top? Again, I think we've covered that based upon the profiles. And uh, is this a normal retracement? And you had mentioned 310. I would use 304 as a key level to be watching out there. If price closes below that, at least two consecutive closes, that's going to signal that Upstart wants to make an even further retracement. And likely what would then take place is you'd see the A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So that's going to look like this. We don't have this yet confirmed, but this is what it could look like if it breaks through the support level. And here that support level is the 310 level, which is its essence what you're looking at. Uh, so if it does break through that area, even if it's on lighter volume, uh, you're then getting a signal of a move back to 263 or the 239 area. So best of luck to you, Rich, and uh, uh, thanks so much for writing in to the show. We've got a question here inside the Tigers, Den, I believe that is, uh, oh, we've got somebody on the line. That's Gary in Michigan. Hey, Gary, how you doing today? Hey, Steve. Thanks for taking the call. How are you doing? Sure. 
I'm doing just fine. Thank you. New skin, your favorite out here. Yeah. Uh, having a fairly nice day today. Trading, getting back inside its daily profile. Trading at 41.27. I know that you're long this, but uh, give me some more information as far as what I can help you with. So here's the deal on, and I know I'm a bit of a pest on this one, but uh, there are uh, earnings after uh, after the market closes today. Um, okay. I, th this activity is pretty strong for um, in the after looking at the recent activity for the last couple of months on okay. the upside. So, um, which is a nice change. And um, what I'm just curious, I'm going to make a stab in the options. I'm just I'm conservative. I'm going out to. Uh, you know, next year. But if I'm not, I'm going into the uh, maybe for a little stab on the, uh, the November 19th option play here. So I'm looking okay. for some signals in your mind as to strengthening position uh, or just a one day kind of one hit wonder kind of thing that possibly. OK, so let's do that. I want to start with the white background charts first. I'm just going to look for some signals out here with you to see if there. So what you do have in place on the daily time frame, it's Rhodes Mintum Indicator Bottom, and that uh, formed on October 13th. What that tells us is that the low of that pattern, Gary, which is 39.40, if we see a close below that, that's going to suggest lower price. All right, so that's the first level that I'd be watching in the aftermarket. You've got a valid bottom. Um, price has just been trading sideways. I don't know if this is under accumulation. I don't know if this is getting ready for its next leg down, next leg up. I, I just don't know because price is not above any set of profiles that would help us here. But you do have got that valid bottom on the daily time frame. If it's going to give you a bullish signal, you'll see price trading above and closing above 42.78. Not until you close above 42.78 will this give you the all clear sign that price would rise to 51.32. So again, we're right now we're just looking for signals. So the daily says, okay, I can see a bullish call on that. Uh, the weekly chart in the week, unfortunately, isn't over. But you've got a TD9 count top. That formed four weeks ago. And uh, you have a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal that triggered last week. And right now, if this were the Friday close, you would have a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom with price trading or closing inside the bullish structured profile. But the real level you need to see price close above on a weekly basis, not necessarily this week, is going to be 43.79. But this is signaling to us that price should make the move to that 43.79 level um any questions about the weekly chart nope that's exactly what i wanted you the man okay so the monthly no help here i'm going to just look at a quick 30 minute chart. i get it a quick 65 no okay so i'm going to come back now to the black background chart. so that was the good news the supposed good news <laughs> I, I really wish i really wish the week were over because with it only being wednesday you know it could give up those gains and then it's nowhere near showing you a uh a rhodes Mintum indicator uh, bottom signal so you give them off by tomorrow that's for sure <laughs> yeah so it's it it because you've got price below the bottom of its monthly profile tinkering with the bottom of its weekly profile out here what i also see gary and this is the bad news so I see a sideways consolidation. I'm just going to expand out the weekly chart out here. And so when I look at this from a consolidating standpoint, it's clear that at the uh, level of about, let me move my data box over, at the level of about 46.65 is the bottom of the consolidation. That was the low that took place on November 9th. That, in essence, was about the low that took place on December, I'm, I'm sorry, on February 22nd. That was at 46.48. And then at the top here, at the highs, we can see that really the top of that uh, resistance level or top of that consolidation is really the June 7th high, and that's at 60.54. So when you break through a consolidation, that gives us a measured move equal to or greater than the consolidation. At this stage, we've got a broken consolidation, as I see it. And that is really suggesting that new skin could easily trade back to the measured move of that consolidation pattern at 30.58. Now, you won't have that message until you get a close below 40.69, which you did last week. So a second close this week below that level, <clears throat> that would really bring that consolidation projection level into play. Any questions there? No, that's excellent. That's what I needed to know. So because we can make a, uh, a, not that we're trying to force the issue, because we see a valid bottoming signal on a daily, potential on the weekly, but then we come back to the weekly and we see this consolidation breakout, would I take another stab at a trade here knowing that you're already pretty heavily long? And my answer would be no. Got it. It's just, we that's just don't have a clear, for. we don't have really a clear message to suggest that. But I, I could it. be overreading things here. 
So, so that's fine. That... I, I, I might take a little, um, go to, you know, I used to own racehorses, so I might take a stab on the, uh, on the uh, um, not an investment, but a fun play here on the uh, November. But I get it. That's going to keep me uh, at, 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 uh, from doing anything longer. Okay, for now. Uh, we'll see how it closes the end of the week. I thank you for your time always, and you are the man. Okay. So one of the you other, well. yeah, you bet. Let me just add this to you, just so you know. So one of the other reasons to, to really suggest that potential consolidation breakdown move out here is the monthly's got a TD9 count top. Prices below the bottom of its weekly monthly profile has been for a couple of months here. This says right. 2644 is really a potential game out here. Okay. So just wanted to make sure I gave everything to you. All right. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. You bet. Be well. Have a good day. We'll be right back, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Real quickly, folks, back to uh, Upstart Holdings, UPST. Uh, Dan of the Tiger's Den is asking the question. Uh, basically, let me let me read the question. Steve, does uh, does the previous profile low have any significance in my work? Um, and he's asking, in essence, you know, will this level hold its support? And by the way, that area was uh, three thirteen seventy five. In the answer, I'll answer your question this way: um, No, it doesn't. <laughs> so 
I, I take a look at these profile levels. Think of it like this. Uh, you're a sports guy. I know because we've talked sports before. So just think of this as being our playing field out here. And our field gets reset every time there is a, a new set of profiles. Uh, it's just like the offense coming in defense. You know, you, you're changing. You've got maybe you, you, you got a new set of downs. You've got a new field that you're playing on. And that is how I take a look at these profiles out there. Um, so you, you ask in, in the way that I view them. That's how I view them. Each of these profiles, when there's a new one that forms, you don't even really consider or think about the other profiles, or at least I do not. So, uh, so, so that's the answer. Another uh, question inside the Tiger's Den here, and we're just going to go ahead and stick to the white background charts because we only have about a minute. And the first question was, is Morgan Stanley forming some kind of major top? So on the daily time frame out here in Morgan Stanley, you could get a TD9 count top today. But in order for that to happen, price is going to have to close above uh, 102.50. We're below that right now, so that may not form. What I see out here, John, on the daily chart more than anything else is a consolidation, much like the markets. The bottom of the consolidation being somewhere in the vicinity of about 9669. The weekly chart out here, we have a Rosemontum indicator top. No levels of support have really been broken. I would not be surprised to see a move to 9305. But if you do get a, a new all time high in here, it will have negated that pattern and suggest that we continue to move higher. Uh, so, uh, in major tops, all major tops have a Rosemontum indicator involved with them. So, it's got potential. The price first has to break through support. You have a TD9 count top. On the monthly time frame for Morgan Stanley, this suggests price should go target the 93.36 level. Ultimate support right now, 79 bucks even, Stephen, on Morgan Stanley. Folks, stay tuned for two more great hours. I'll be back with you tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. sharp. Have a, uh, have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.